Why are Lego helicopters so bad? They suck! I'll tell you at the end of the video. Stay tuned! Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco, coming to you at 60 frames per second in 4K resolution. No sugar, no filler, just real whole egg, and welcome to my channel. If you know a thing or two about LEGO, you know that its customers like to complain about helicopters a lot because of the very reasons I will tell you at the end of the video. But if you have a LEGO city, you kind of expect to have a lot of helicopters because of the pieces that we get into our inventories and the amount of sets that we want to buy that come with a dinky little helicopter on the side. So. I thought to myself, well, if I am going to have to succumb to the normality of bad LEGO helicopters, I will might as well create a design of LEGO helicopter that I would actually be pleased with. So, because I'm a vintage fan of LEGO, I looked back on instructions of old LEGO sets. And there was one particular set called Flame Chaser which had a different name in some parts of the world that came out in 1991, which I actually owned as a child because I inherited from my brother. I will try pop up a picture of the Flame Chaser on the screen right now. And I thought to myself, you know what? That's a really good design of a really compact helicopter. So why not try and replicate that design with some slight alterations from the instructions into something that is simple enough to build but is yet compact enough to still fit a minifigure and look like it would be good flying around with some attachments on the skids. Because this design is so simple we do not have any extra compartments to hold cargo. Some of the larger helicopters out there will have containers behind the cabin in front of the engines that would have medical supplies or police guns or other flashlight torches guns whatever whatever you could imagine they've done a lot of police fire and emergency helicopters as you would expect but also the nonsense helicopters for uh, superheroes which why the hell does a superhero need a helicopter anyway I'll get to that at the end of the video so I wanted to use the origi original style of helicopter windscreen that has this really odd half oval design that has a really smooth curve at the top but then at the bottom comes down to the bottom like an octagon shape because you can see it's 45 degrees here but then there's 30 degree angles up top here. The Skids for the helicopters are nothing but 1x6 plates and they use these really interesting modified fence pieces that were also used in a lot of classic space sets to hold them together. The chassis is just a 2x4 plate and two 1x3 plates either side of that with there being no doors because all you need to hold the minifigure in, the pilot who operates the helicopter with these joystick control antenna levers which if you've seen my previous video which was about my design for Lego forklifts of which you can go watch the video about this forklift in the video in the cards right now who uses those same controls. The minifigure is held in with 1x3 slopes. Then you can form the back se section with a combination of 1x4 bricks and plates to get the desired height. Although I've cheated, I've had to use 1x2s instead. But the real interesting part is for the engine part. So the back here, the engine starts with an inverted 2x2 slope which then transitions into a 2x3 slope and it has the sideways mounted snot pieces 
I believe Bricklink officially called, calls these modified one by one plates with ring holes on the side or something like that. If I'm wrong about that, please correct me down below in the comments. But the engines are one by one cone bricks held onto those. In front of those is one of these modified two by two plates with the Technic pinhole extended outwards so it can center and hold with clutch power another one by six plate which leads for the tail rotor out the back here. And you can use either the modified one by two plate that's a half axle or the modified two by two plate by two thirds that is also a half axle. Whichever one of these pieces you have on hand, they can be used either or. And if you really wanted to, you could add more details to the top here, but because I want to keep these simplistic, I decided not to do that and depending on how much friction is in your axles will be the further that these things can spin it's really fun to spin around <laughs> so you can see the way that these windscreens are held on is slightly different designs this one has the modified 1x4 plate that has these finger hinges out horizontally but these ones have it out vertically. It's kind of the same conflicting design principles with the forklift. Do you want the attachments to be horizontal or vertical? Kind of have to pick your poison depending on, on what pieces you have in your collection. So it goes without saying, this one is white, this one is red. That goes without saying. And so on top of these, you have the two by three slopes to bring it back up again so you get that nice aerodynamic back out of here and on top of there you can place a combination of one by two plates depending on how high you need it to be so that you can then attach the modified one by one tile with the with the technic pin extension so that it holds on to these helicopter rotors and you can use either plates or tiles i prefer to use tiles that represent the rotors i prefer to use the 1x8 tiles but unfortunately i don't have any 1x8 tiles in red right now once i get those off of brick link then i will be replacing them because i think the wider your rotors are the more aerodynamic it looks because just the two extra studs length these rotors compared to these rotors makes to in my opinion look like this helicopter is way more powerful and has a better fuel economy and whatever the st statistics of a helicopter you want to use these are my designs and i'm sticking to them because they're really modifications they're not really mocks but i'm going to call it a mock because of clickbait they are modifications of the flame chaser from 1991 and i like how they look in the future, I might create a design of helicopters that have the 2x2x2 two by two by two container pieces so that I can build a d design of helicopter that's two studs longer and a little, little bit more beefier. But that will have to be in a future video where I take the time to design those types of helicopters. So the big question is, why do helicopters suck? Well. If you've watched some of my previous live streams where I've complained about new LEGO sets, I've used this analogy a lot of times. If anyone's ever seen people critiquing movies, one of the phrases that ends up coming a lot in those reviews is the scale of how bad a movie can be. Because a lot of people say, that a movie which is so bad it's entertaining can be more enjoyable than a movie that's so bland you can't sit through it. And that is my opinion of a lot of the helicopters that LEGO makes these days because they often use the same moulds that end up looking the same. There's not much of an architectural difference and there's not all that much different helicopter designs that the LEGO designers design in their sets. It would make me so much happier if they used a combination of different cockpit canopies 
because they did eventually get away from theirs because over time these did look boring and they've made countless new style cockpit canopies for their helicopters ever since but they just fall into a trap of using those new designs for so many years without sprinkling in different types of canopies within the same theme because you could have the same theme that has multiple helicopters in that theme that all use the same helicopter canopy. It works well in the year 1991, but it doesn't work all that well in 2023 or for the last 15 years, if you ask me. I just wish LEGO helicopters had more differences in them because they all look the same. It makes sense for them all to look the same when LEGO doesn't have that much money to invest in new pieces, which was the case in 1991, which is not the case in 2023. So in the year 2023, which is now going on 2024 at the time of this filming, and at the time of upload, it's probably already 2024, it just doesn't cut it. It doesn't cut it. Particularly when the scale of helicopters just keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They just end up looking more clunkier and clunkier and clunkier. I designed compact helicopters on purpose so that they wouldn't look like an eyesore in the sky. And that's why I like the he old helicopters better than I like the new helicopters because it's accept acceptable for them to look the same in the old times. But that's not the standard we have any more Lego. So... With the monotonous designs of LEGO helicopters, it's another case where I have to say, DO BETTER LEGO! Too many LEGO helicopters are lazily designed, and that's why I think they suck, and therefore, they are so bad. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in my next short. I'll see you on my next live stream, which as always is at 9pm Eastern on a Friday night in North America, and 8pm Eastern on a Sunday night in North America, and... I will see you in the next video. Thank you for supporting Mayo Hosco Media. Your viewership is very important to us. Tell YouTube you like us by smashing the like button. Let your thoughts be known in the comments down below. Never miss out on any more LEGO content from us by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. Stay tuned for live streams every Friday night at 9pm Eastern in North America and monthly city updates on the last Wednesday or Thursday of every month. If you like Minecraft and gaming streams, follow us on Twitch, Mayo underscore Hosco, no capital letters. Twitch streams every Saturday morning at 8am Eastern in North America. To be in the know, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at real underscore Mayo Hosco. Have fun with us on our Discord server. Friend us on Facebook and join the fan club group. For business inquiries, email us at mayohosco at gmail.com. For historical inquiries, check out our website. For special community perks, including behind the scenes, voting rights, and early access videos, become an investor today by pledging to us on Patreon. Links in the description. Watch this video recommend to you, or check out this playlist if you missed any previous videos of the same genre. This has been Mayo Hosco and I am a fan of old Lego. Hashtag A-F-O-O-L.